plowing this morning to break up hard lamperite. You can see over here it's still really hard. It, it's like uh, the bottom of a swimming pool, concrete hard. And it's hard to break up even with a backhoe, but this antique plow does a pretty good job turning these big chunks over. We plowed there and working this way. We've got some more we're going to plow in a minute. We decided to start early in the morning before it got hot, but too late. It's already hot and it may be like 930, but in Arkansas, you got to get up with the roosters if you want to uh, beat the heat. But these chunks of lamperite have a whole bunch of clasps in them, uh, angular and round. So it's a brescia and a lapilli uh, hybrid, you know, mixed together because there's round one and angular pieces, but it's just full of variety in here and variety in color as well. And these uh, chunks are pretty big. The, the black on here is kind of a blackish purple and it's manganese. It's, it's a staining. It leached into it. There's cracks in the lamperite after it cooled. The volcanic material cooled. There were cracks and then manganese leached in from the top. Now the nice thing about manganese is that's what makes amethyst purple. So you have white or clear quartz unless you have a source of manganese above it that leaches down into the vug or cavity when the quartz crystal is forming, then you have a chance for amethyst. So we would love to hit an amethyst vein in here, but we don't know what's under here until we cut into it. So we're gonna, gonna give this a try and keep working at it. All this material, Kurt will load up with the front end of his tractor and haul it about 1,200 feet to the diamond recovery plant. And we'll wash it through there and see, see what's in it. These chunks will go in the scrubber and roll around and break down. And it should turn it all to something like that so that we can find what, what's inside there. So nothing sticks to a diamond and a diamond doesn't stick to anything, but it can be encased in or entombed in this volcanic rock known as diamondiferous lamperite. And we're at one of the seven known intrusions just outside the crater of Diamond State Park within three miles of the state park. So we're uh, removed three and a half feet of, or four feet of overburden and uh, digging into the lamp right underneath, <coughs> loading this up and hauling it to the plant to uh, check it for diamond content. So we're sampling for diamonds here. Thanks for joining me. Please like and watch our videos and subscribe to our Genuine Diamonds in AR YouTube channel.